In late summer, apples are harvested from the orchards. The newly picked apples are delivered to large silos and are stored there until they're ready to be processed. In order to separate stones from the wash water, a solids trap is used. The apples are discharged from the silos with the help of water and are then transported to the flushing channel followed by a fruit delivery system. While in the conveying system, the apples are separated from the flushing water. The speed of the conveying system can be adapted to the desired apple quantity via a variable gearbox. Afterwards, the apples are transported to the sorter belt via an elevator. The flushing water is pumped via a submersible pump to a rotating screen to separate the basic dirt, leaves and grass that accumulates over time in the water. The cleaned flushing water is recycled and reused to discharge the apples from the silos using a second submersible pump. The apples that are not suitable for juice production are separated out on the sorter belt. Via another elevator, the cleaned and pre-sorted apples are transported to the hammer mill where they're milled into a mash. An eccentric progressing cavity or mono pump transports the mash to the belt press. The mash level in the feeding hopper is controlled with level sensors. Adjustable lateral flappers allow the operator to optimally adjust the width of the mash cake according to mash quality. Via a variable speed feeding roller, the mash is spread uniformly on the lower belt. The height of the mash cake can also be adjusted with the feeding roller. Underneath the feeding roller, the first juice extracted through the belt is due to the static pressure of the mash. Juice extraction is continued in a gentle way in the bow zone where the upper belt meets the mash. At the same time, pressure is slowly increased and a mash which has a good structure for pressing is formed. The L-profile roller provides a quick discharge of the pressed juice to both sides of the filter belts. A large quantity of juice is extracted at this special designed roller stage. In a second stage, the pressure on the mash cake is increased with decreasing roller diameters and more juice is continuously extracted. Additional vertical pressure on the mash cake can be applied with specially designed press rollers called nip rollers at the end of the pressing process. These rollers, when utilized, will help the end user try and recover the last drop of juice present in the mash. Most remaining fruit particles are separated from raw juice via a vibrating screen. Thermal treatment allows for the preservation of the raw juice in aseptic tanks until bottling. The pomace is separated from the filter belt via a scraper Finally, the pomace is discharged via a collecting screw into a container, as shown in our example. The filter belts are continuously cleaned during operation. A circulation pump pumps the flushing water, which contains solids particles, to a rotating screen which continuously separates these solids. The cleaned water is pumped under high pressure to nozzle pipes with a pressure pump and is then recirculated back to the rotating screen and used again for cleaning the belts. The open design of the Flotvig belt press allows for easy and efficient cleaning of the whole system. 100% stainless steel construction, including the large juice collection pans in product wetted areas, make cleaning effective and easy. Cleaning liquids accumulate in the central juice collection pan via easy to handle butterfly valves. The L profile roller submerges into the cleaning solution. If necessary, the belt press can be equipped with various CIP spraying pipes, which allow for quick and efficient cleaning of all necessary areas.
The quantity of mash to be pressed is regulated via an adjustable gearbox or a frequency inverter. A pneumatic manifold system is utilized for belt tensioning. For the security of the operating personnel, there are protection devices. The whole system can be switched off via an emergency pull cable switch. The filter belts are also controlled via a pneumatic manifold system. The position of the filter belts on the roller is controlled via paddles. If the filter belts leave their center position on the rollers, the paddles will detect this and the belt will be adjusted back to the middle of the machine via regulating belt alignment rollers. This system is also controlled by limit switches. The electric panel provides automatic operation of the entire system. High yield, minimal cloudiness, hygienic construction in stainless steel, gentle extraction of fruit, minimal oxidation, high security, long lifetime and low energy consumption are characteristic of Flotvig belt presses.